What's up YouTube? Today I'm bringing you another chemistry video. Today I'm going to be producing carbon monoxide and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding formic acid as well as sulfuric acid into this filtering flask that you see right in front of you. Into the Eldermeyer filtering flask in front of you. And essentially what happens is the sulfuric acid will begin to dehydrate the formic acid which will in turn give us carbon monoxide. So without further ado, I'll continue with the reaction. This Ellermeyer filtering flask could hold up to 100 milliliters of liquid. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 50 milliliters of formic acid. And the rule of thumb in doing this is to put two parts formic acid for every one part sulfuric acid. So 50 milliliters of formic acid and it really doesn't matter how much sulfuric acid I mean the rule of thumb you know it's just one part sulfuric acid for every two parts formic acid but regardless of how much formic acid you have the sulfuric acid will react with whatever formic acid is in there in turn producing carbon monoxide like you'll see now And you can see the intense bubbling, that's the formic acid dehydrating, producing carbon monoxide. And to know that whether or not your experiment is a success, the best way to do it is to light the end of the filtering flask. And as you can see, it's burning with a blue flame. So the experiment is a success, and that is how you produce carbon monoxide. So rate, comment, tell me what you think. Opinions, whatever. Peace.